And like Joey said, sit down. If, if we all sat down and had a conversation about it, a lot of people would be like, wait, you're fucked up too? And you're like, yeah, man, we're all fucked up. And everybody goes, cool, <laughs> yeah. let's have a beer. <laughs> a lot's happened since yesterday. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another very special edition of A Lot's Happened Since Yesterday. My name is Cody Walker. And my name is Ralph Busso. And today, our guests are the band New Dilemma. We have the singer, Joey. Yeah. The, what's up, Joey? What's going on, dude? What's happening, brother? We got Joey and we got fucking Clyde, the bass player. So we got we we got two of the badass bass, <laughs> the badass fucking players in this band. And uh, <laughs> the, these are badass motherfuckers. I'm going to tell you something right now. If you guys haven't checked these guys out, you need to. Fuck um, yes. The name of the band is New Dilemma. And the name of their AP is Is Your Story Over? And I got to tell you, man, after listening to the video or watch, watching the video and listening to the music, I got to tell you, your story is not over. It's just fucking beyond, dude. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, fuck yeah. I hope so, man. That's, that's the goal. Well, that, well, dude, I, I got to respect it. We we do shows, and I, me and Ralph harp on this in a big, bad way. For this show, we talk about bands who try to be undeniable in their own way, because you got to be in this industry. In some way, you got to stand out the way you can. That's for sure. You guys already came out fucking swinging, because I get an email out of nowhere going, hey, dude, we're going on tour soon. We'd love some extra press. You guys want to do this or what? And I'm like, "My man, the fuck is this? I yeah. go do a little little Google magic, little little flick of the little buttons Google. and little Google action, man. Dude, you guys are pushing. I so respect you, the you, shit you, out of it. You guys, you guys are on Pavement Entertainment, right? Yes, sir. Shout out to okay. Pavement. Shout out to Pavement. Shout Look, out to Pavement. Tim and Mark are nice guys, man. They're good guys. They do they do a great job. I I got no complaints. They they they're doing business. You know what I'm saying? This is the music yeah. industry. Yeah, they've you know helped I mean? us out and uh, everything. A lot of stuff we're doing, um, they've been pushing. So uh, that's what we're working on right now. Right on, right on. And so uh, you, and I know you guys are going on tour very soon. Uh, yes, sir. Cold, right? Yes, we leave September 12th. Um, first show is September 15th, and we are out for two and a half months, all the way out to November 22nd. Whoa. How fucking stoked are you? I'm pretty fucking stoked. <laughs> That's pretty badass. Grateful. Boys. He says it, you know, grateful all the time. Like we just, uh, we love to seize opportunity. And sometimes um, you got to push out of the comfort zone. You got to do shit you don't want to do. And um, if you're comfortable, then you're probably not doing it right. You should be you're a little bit uncomfortable right. with your move. Is this so? So is this right. kind of a burning the boat situation where you guys pulled up on shore and you're like, no turning back, motherfuckers. It's all ahead or nothing. <laughs> uh, believe that there's actually a track in this that refers to that called no going back there's a track in there literally <laughs> I love refers it. To it. Oh, fuck yeah dude you about that holy shit just saying <laughs> no that's so awesome guys i'm not bullshitting you i'm not bullshitting you you guys are rare in this business uh, um, i appreciate that i um, i am um, all i aim for is um i guess just off authenticity and like people getting to know who we are like i I just want people to know us. Uh, sometimes maybe we're not smiling. Sometimes maybe we're joking and being fools, but we're just going to be real. That's sort of the goal. That's what I fucking love about it, dude. Let's get to know you. All right. Yeah. <laughs> New dilemma. Where'd you? How'd you come up with that name? Well, this is where the story gets a little deeper, guys. Um, so uh, I was a single dad. My um, my daughter's special needs. Uh, she has spinal muscular atrophy. Um, I was a single dad. Her mom ended up in jail and, uh, she's, she's almost 21 now. Um, this has obviously been some years ago and I was putting her to bed one night and she said, dad, you've been taking care of me a long time. Like, why don't you go show the world what you got again? And I, I literally looked at my daughter cause she talks like I do. I'm like, are you out of your fucking mind? Nobody cares about your dad <laughs> on stage singing songs. Like nobody gives a shit. Um, so I literally walked out her bedroom door and, uh, I, I kind of did one of these. I'm like, why well, am I always in these new dilemmas of trying to, and I just kind of like, and like literally within 48 hours, I was trying to put a band together. 
Um, wow. But I gave it up. Uh, we had I had a tour with Creed when I was 20 years old. I was about to go on tour with Creed, and which when they were in their prime, it is what it is. People love them, hate them, whatever. But when I was 20, I was like, uh, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, they were filling up arenas at the time. We were supposed to be playing arenas. I was like, cool. Um, my daughter got her diagnosis, and I quit. I hung it up. So it's time to be a dad, and I have no regrets with that. Didn't give a shit. And um, so when she said that to me, that's, I mean, that's the inspiration. That's why we're here. Um, you know, her lifespan was, uh, she was supposed to be at best 15 years old, and we're about to celebrate her 21st birthday in a few months. So uh, that's where a new dilemma came from, man, and that's where the story started. Wow. Fuck, man. I'm not going to lie, dude. You, you're fucking killing me over here. I'm tearing up. I'm not even bullshitting you. That's fucking an amazing that, story. It's written in the stars well, at that point, dude. Oh, shit. I mean, when so your kid the, gives you that. That's why like, we're swinging for the fences. I, I tell everybody, like, you can give me $50 million tomorrow. It can't fix what means the most. So I just, right. you know, we just swing for the fucking fences. I'm not here for the money. Um, we want to make a living so we can pay our bills, you know, like any other musician. But at the end of the day, it's just about doing it. Because we love to do it. So the single is your story over. Um, tell me a little bit about what that means. Because I watched the video and I got my own vision of what it means. But I want to know from you what it means. Um, is your story over comes from, you know, honestly, days of being maybe that single parent when I was going through those things of trying to be the best dad, but also going through, um, you know, her parent or her mother going to jail and into all these bad things. And then like you start darkening, you get colder in your heart, like it just affects you in that way. So, um, you know, of course you have those dark moments where you're like, I'm done. Fuck this. Like I can't do this. But then it's like, just like it said, it's like, don't stop, li you know, don't live your life. Like your story's over um it's not over until you say it's over so that's kind of what it's about right in that next chapter getting to you know getting to the light from the dark you know those dark spaces so um the people we even have people in video that um you know tried to commit suicide but they survived and they're in that music video so they're it's the perfect example of your story's not over and it's time to go to the next chapter um live learn move on so what do you, what, what, I mean, what are your thoughts? The, I want to hear from the both of you about this. Um, what are your thoughts about the, the state of people's mental uh, situation right now? Um, with, with everything going on with COVID and everything, it seems like more and more people are dealing with major depression and anxiety. And I, I want to know what you guys think about that. Well, absolutely. This time has been tough for everyone. I mean, my mom is a mental health counselor, you know, so she's made her living doing that. But she's had an influx of patients since the world is shut down and people whose purposes rely on running a business that they started from nothing or they might be gig workers or hired contractor workers and all of that went away so they feel displaced and it, it, it's a terrible thing and there's still a stigma around mental health and we try to be as transparent as possible about it as you can see in the last video uh is your story over or the first video yeah so um for me uh you know it's not even sure coding it like it's i went through it through this you know year and a half off. I mean, first of all, my daughter's um, compromised anyways. I mean, she's already on a ventilator. So the fear of all that and um, is stressful because it's it's only about her for me. So um, I was there like it's not even like I, I don't even have to deflect it to somebody else. You know, um, you start going through the whole thing. I mean, the band thing, like, oh, do we do this or done? You know, but my wife looks at me and my kid looks at me and they're not they're like, you're doing this, you know, you're do you know, so it's like when the world opens up and you can do it, you're going to do it. So that's, I mean, but it's scary, man. I mean, I don't know what else to say about it. The, the influx of that. I mean, that was the perfect word. The influx overall across this country is insane with it. And uh, that was a bad choice of words. I apologize there. 
<laughs> but uh, <laughs> it's uh, it's just it's just tough. It's really tough. Well, I, brothers, you guys are pushing forward, and I think absolutely. that is amazing, uh, especially under the circumstances and with everything with COVID nineteen. Um, I know that a lot of tours have been getting canceled lately. And because of the COVID nineteen, are you guys concerned? Um, we are. We are. We are concerned within our camp and within Cold. Um, the tour has very specific guidelines on um, what needs to happen. I mean, we we unfortunately had to even let a tech guy go um, because of of those circumstances. So the thing is, and and what we're all about is we do what we need to do to make New Dilemma work, and. Uh, there's just guidelines and we're going to follow them. And it's that simple. And we're all going to do our best to just stay safe. I mean, there's no guarantees, but um, that that's all we can do. Hopefully we can control that scenario. Obviously it's um, trying, like trying to control a tornado in a way, but uh, I, I really think with safety and just being smart that um, we can keep our camp safe out there and cold's going to be very limited on, um, you know, all the bands and crews are going to be very limited on, interaction with each other to keep that down as well. But as a whole in the circle, as a touring unit, we're just, you know, we're putting guidelines in and everybody's going to abide. If you don't, I think we all as musician knows what happens if you don't. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, honestly, that's the best you can ask really, right. Is, you know, do Absolutely. whatever you can to stay safe and keep the people in your crew safe. Cause if you can't, how do we continue on? There's no entertainment. That's right. it. it doesn't work. Yeah. Got to keep the family safe. Cause Damn that's skippy. what we are. And the fans. How big is your? How big a crew yeah, are you I mean, taking that's with the you? Most important. How big? How big is the crew that you're taking with you? Um, right now, I think we're at about six, and the band's a four piece. Like we're trying to keep it, um, keep it tight, minimal as possible. Yeah. I mean, I mean, I would love to take five guys, touch nothing, and you know, um, but it's just not the circumstance right now. I think it's about as as little as ne necessary to make it all go as good as it can without over exhausting ourselves and, you know, making sure that every night we can, we give that 110%. Yeah. Yeah. That uh, people don't understand the amount of work that it takes to put on a show every night. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's like, people don't understand it. It's like, okay, you got to be badass every freaking <laughs> night. You know what I mean? And so it it does. It takes its soul on you. And I, I respect you guys so much for doing this, man. Um, are you guys excited about going out with Cold? Are you guys fans of the band? Absolutely. Oh, yes, man. I was I uh, I come from that realm. Like, this is almost crazy for me that I'm going out with Cold. You're, you know, songs I listened to years ago, like jamming down the road, you know, so. You know, for me, the first big thing like this, um, I'm super excited as a musician and a fan, as far as that goes. I was a I was a huge fan of their first album, and uh, "Stupid Girl" is is a fun song. You know what it's I mean? Always. And, and so, you know, and I I love what you guys are doing. So I think this is going to be a really good tour. I'm really pulling for you guys, man, because I know Appreciate how things that. are right now, dude. I know how things are right now, guys. So it, it, you guys are brave, man. You guys are brave, and people should support you guys. New Hell dilemma. Yes. Hell yeah. Go support Appreciate these that. guys, man. These are real dudes with real lives and real problems. And as real as they get. And they're bringing you entertainment. They're bringing you content. They're bringing you music. They're bringing you stuff that will stir your soul. Don't take that for granted. Go go support New Dilemma. You guys are awesome, dude. You guys are really awesome. I, I'm I'm so stoked to see you guys pushing forward through these times. I really am, man. Um, let me tell me tell me something. Um, you guys have another single that you're working on. What's the name of that one? Um, the next one coming out is called Playing Victim, and it actually um, hits the radio um, this coming Tuesday, uh, the seventh. September seventh, it September hits the radio. Seventh, holy shit! So you right. got so you got a new single push in on the seventh. You guys start touring on. What was the date again? What was the first 15th. show? Fifteenth. That's perfect timing, 15th. too, dude. Fuck. Yeah. You guys are killing it. Yeah. So, <laughs> what 
I mean, uh, what is the the story behind this new this new single that's getting ready to come out? So everybody's ready for it. <laughs> um, playing victim is just about um, the last relationship and 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 the mom and dealing with like, um, especially someone just say it using drugs and being an asshole. Um, poor me poor me poor me poor me poor me always playing the victim with the handout and uh you know meanwhile at the time like i'm working 50 hours a week being a dad doing you know i had some other things going on back then but you know it's full-time life and uh so you start to um you start to almost turn into that like they're doing this evil thing and it almost twists you and you start to realize you're someone that you didn't even mean to be and that's kind of where the second part of the song and the in the end verses is sort of like all of a sudden now you're having the view and you're starting to decipher these bad thoughts and you know because they're out doing their thing and you're doing your thing and your mind runs crazy if you've ever been in a relationship like come on like yeah. <laughs> we've almost all been in some sort of circumstance like that but um that's where it really hits man is that that person um playing the victim lies running from the truth and not owning their self and they're what they've done, you know, in the part of the situation. That shit takes your soul, man. Yeah. That's does. a rough ride, man. It will. Well, we're looking forward to the new single, guys. Um, on a side note, I don't want to get too political here with you guys. I don't want to get too deep into this shit. But I would kind of like to get both of your opinions on what's going on right now in our society, where, where, when it comes to the left and the right, kind of, it just seems like an internal national battle. You know what I mean? And it just, it just doesn't feel right for me. I feel like we're united. We stand divided. We fall. Right. So where do you, where, where do you guys stand on that? The most. I can say into that is regardless of politics, regardless of race, gender, uh, religion, or sexual orientation, we love everyone. We want everyone to feel that they're not alone. And, you know, I hope our music conveys that to all walks of life. And that's all I'm going to say on that subject. Um, mine well becomes said, super... Mine becomes super simple with that. Um, I only worry about what's best for my daughter and not, I, I kind of put blinders on as a father for this. And I know what really good dealing with medical and dealing with the real issues that people think they talk about or think they know about that I've been dealing with for 19 years or 20 years, as far as what the government does to help our disabled and when things are better and when they're not. Um, so for me, I just, I stick with, whatever's best for my kid. Um, I fully believe with New Dilemma, we don't want to alienate anybody. Um, like when the music's playing and we're getting along, like that should be enough to realize that we can get along with other things. Right. And I hope that music can do that. Like we don't have to fight about it. We can talk about it. We can have a conversation about it. We're talking about right now. And I'm sure if we all went into the room and I say it all the time, the four of us, even with the same exact views or same political side, you would still disagree on 50 percent of the shit you talk about anyway. <laughs> so what's the That's damn true. difference? Right. Like yeah. if you're in a band, you know exactly what the fuck I'm talking about. So um, <laughs> that that's that's. That's where it's at for me. It's about listening to people. It's about responding, responding with respect, first and foremost, and just having a kind heart. And here's here's my last thing. It's about humanity for me in the story. Yeah, that's all. Very well said. Um, Very well this said. might be something. Do you think in a way a big part of all the anger that's going on right now is mental health? Simply because everybody's been locked down for a year and some odd change. They haven't been going sure. there. Everybody's yeah. pissed off at their own circumstance. And then somebody has the balls to disagree with you. Boom. Everybody fucking explodes. Yeah. Well, and, uh, you know, when it's easy to be angry and express this, that, and the other with a keyboard. But just like the old days before Facebook, like, nobody's saying that shit to your face at Publix. Yeah. So, yeah. like, um everybody is entitled to all those feelings and emotions and, but like 
you get so wound up from being cooped up. I was there. I said it about the other song. Like mm. I was there, man. Like I'm not meant to just be caged up and like stuck right here like that. So, um, but, but it's not fair to unleash that fury on everybody around you just because they're there. Right. Anyway. Anger always seems to be a secondary emotion for something else going on in your life. Instead of expressing the complications, it's easier to just, all lit up and let it all out at once, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Well, and like Joey said, sit down. If if we all sat down and had a conversation about it, a lot of people would be like, wait, you're fucked up too? And you're like, yeah, man, we're all fucked up. And everybody goes, cool, (laughs) let's have a beer. (laughs) Like we go to concerts to escape. I go to see concerts to escape that everyday shit. Right. So I don't bring that. I will never bring that as an entertainer. I will never get on anything and go, blah, blah, blah. You should do this, this, and this. That is not my fucking job. I, I'm here to take you away from that, and I'm a firm believer in that as an entertainer. Absolutely. That's just, yeah. But that's and, my opinion. Well, no, but that's why you. Ha- that's why I always preach this, that you have to show support to the entertainers because yeah. they're the ones, you guys are the ones that take us away from this shit. You know what I mean? We got to deal with this shit all the fucking time. It's just always fucking there. It always. You guys take us away from this. You guys give us a release from that. So I got to love and support you guys. I just can't help it. I got to love and support you so much, man. You know what I mean? It's new dilemma, guys. Check them out. Check them out. Their shit is really good. You guys got a really cool groove going. Fuck How's yeah. that working out, dude? I mean, you you got to tell me a little bit about that, dude, because you're the bass player. So what's up with that groove? That fucking groove is badass. You guys got a kick-ass fucking drummer, too. I'm not going to lie. That fucking that shit sick, dude. Uh, I was listening to it, and I was like, this groove is sick as fuck. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it actually started with we were compiling demos and trying to find the right person to produce it. And we came upon Ben Johnson, who is now working under Grammy award winning producer, Will Putney from fit for an autopsy after the burial, he's done their stuff. Just about everyone in that realm. So he, he saw what we had. It kind of gave him a vision of something that we didn't see. And as simple as some changes were, I would have never seen them. So we changed up some things and wrote stuff with him. And there was even some ideas he started. So isn't that That's cool? Absolutely. What do you, so, so let's talk about that for a second. Um, what do you guys, is that, is your thought that the same as mine, that you, if you find a good producer, it's going to improve you? Yeah, I, I think it's going to be a combination. Like you have to want it. Like you have to want to go that extra mile. You have to want to dig deeper. You want like in our writing sessions, like um, our music, I, once I would read it back, like to where I could barely, like I had times I was crying at times I was angry. Like it was literally like just an emotional journey through this thing. And um, it, it helped almost um, repair some things, you know, internally with this ep i mean that's that's 18 years of like let me get all this story out in six songs and um you know there's obviously more to come but like he pulled things out of myself i didn't know i had and same with this guy and um yeah man it's just it was an amazing run ben johnson's really helped us get get to where we're at was it a process finding a producer because finding a good producer that you can <laughs> trust or like producers kind of look at you and go you need to step it up and you don't want to have to be like hate the guy like there's there's a dynamic to finding a good producer that you like working with like yeah that's another part of like the new dilemma story is like the universe kind of took over and it's almost it's just always been this bigger picture like i set it in motion but there's things happening that sometimes you just almost can't explain. Um, you know, I met Ben at Metal of the Mountains in I think it's West Virginia or something like that. And like, I had this hair to just drive up. My buddies were in a band playing up there. And I was like, okay, I'm just gonna go support the Florida bands and drive up alone. My family's at home again, like the soul's telling me go to this thing. So I go up there and um, I meet 
Ben Johnson in the group. He's hanging out with um, the band Mechanism, and you know we're all hanging out. And that's where that's where I met Bobby Keller, who's going on tour with us, um, guitar player now. Uh, so like, why did I even go up there? You know what I mean? And like, I make this drive, and then I hanging out and I'm meeting people. We're still really new in the new new in the new dilemma sort of. Thing You're building a new, new and happening, <laughs> um, and that's where I met Ben. That's where that happened, and it just sort of was just like it. It just happened. But to answer the question, what you you said something about, do you need that producer? And the, at the end, the answer is yes. Like the the producer makes a huge difference. Like he came into our life and he was vested um, until he moved up with Will Putney um, up in New Jersey and started producing. He was going to be the drummer on the tour as well oh wow oh, i mean he was the, the drummer for the band but like you know he went skyrocketing his career we're like dude keep doing what you're doing and let's just we'll keep all the magic rolling so um it's just been like a big growing sort of thing as a family and that's what makes it kind of cool is that it's like you know we got a lot of love in our circle Absolutely. i like that you got to keep all the magic rolling speaking of magic you guys charted on billboard that was pretty what fucking cool. What does that feel <laughs> like? <laughs> um, uh, honestly, when I first got the first, very first phone call, I cried like a 12 year old that just got his ass beat. Like, <laughs> I, I just was like, it was just like, I couldn't believe what was happening. I don't even know what else to say. Like, yeah. No, I mean, that's huge. You yeah. know what I mean? So what else can you say about that except for that I, I literally congratulations, no boys? <laughs> congratulations. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. New like dilemma it. charted on Billboard. You guys have to check them out because if you haven't, then you don't know what you're missing. So um, that and we're gonna be coming to your cities, come out to a show and see us, come meet out, us, come hang they're, out they're, with us. They're playing out doing Everywhere. all this bullshit all over the goddamn fucking place playing with a badass band called cold and you need to go support them and see them when they where, wherever they're playing out check out their schedule you guys have a website yeah right? oh yeah new dilemma.com will take you every take you to everything you can buy tickets you can see videos you can check it out I'll take you to our social media which is all at new dilemma band um is is our call everywhere except tiktok that's uh, new dilemma official um yeah man you can find us anywhere spotify apple youtube we're everywhere i gotta be honest i'm really impressed with you guys not just with your music and not just with your band but also with your story i um, appreciate that man yeah man no for real dude yeah this is cool stuff man this is what we're all about so thank you guys for coming on man is there anything you want to is there anything you want to tell the fans out there, people that are going to be newly introduced to you now through the show? Is there anything that any message that you want to put out to them? You could you go first. I, I'm yeah. Uh, well, check us out on all social media. Listen to our latest single, "Playing Victim." Call your local radio stations Please. and request it. Yes. Mm-hmm. And just know that if you need anybody, reach out. You're not alone. Whatever you're going through, our messenger at New Dilemma is always open. Um, and we've we've had conversations. Obviously, we can't always be right to the messenger, um, being busy as we are. But um, we will always try to reach out, or at least give a phone number or something to somebody to help. My wife, um, I've directed a couple things to her, and um, we're just. Humanity. Back to that. It's just humanity, man. Very Fucking cool, boys. We are all into this together, ladies and gentlemen. You heard him. We man. are. Fans, uh, I just, yeah, I I just want them to, um, I always tell everybody, um, I'm not a vocalist, I'm a dude that just loves to, to make my words and get on stage and entertain. So, um, like, the words are real. Every freaking word in these songs I live, nothing's like some artificial made up uh, thing to make a hit song. You know, it's just all real and from the real place. And that's what that's really the integrity is the most important thing to us is that we hold on to that um, and just, you know, become sort of here's our story and here's what we're doing um, wherever you're at. Like, if you can look at my story and tell me you can't do something, I'm going to call your bullshit. And that's that's where I stand with that. Like, that that's it. It's like yeah. we're here for you. People are there for you. Like, 
you know, it's a dark place, reach out and let's get you to a better place. Well, your sincerity and your integrity is clear. There's no that. doubt about that. Joey, Clyde, it was so good having you guys on today, man. Thanks for having us, man. Thanks, Thanks for hitting for us up, man. On, brothers. And, uh, and when you when you release your next single, uh, Playing Victim? Yes, Tuesday. Um, yes, this next Tuesday, Playing Victim hits radio nationwide. Call your radio stations. Let them DJs know you want to hear Playing Victim New Let's Dilemma. Keep these guys Help us on. find those charts again and get this song popping so we can... Uh, Keep moving the levels and keep. I'd like to hear you guys fans. on Octane. I'd like to hear you guys on Sirius oh, XM hell yeah. Octane. Oh, you know hell what I mean? That'd be I cool. agree. I totally agree with that. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be cool. totally so call them and get them on it, guys. Yep. Come yep. on, do some work. Tweet them. Show some support. Yep. You know what I mean? This is, look, we're all in this together, but you got to understand the work that comes, that goes behind building a band, writing music. All the money that it takes to get things rolling. You guys Shoot. have to support the bands that you like. It, I'm not trying to be a jerk, but come on. You know what I mean? They need your help. Without you guys, we are nothing. Yeah. Without the fans, um, we do not exist. Um, yeah. You know, we just, uh, we hope they come out. They're going to, you know, it's a great concert overall. Like, this is going to be a hell of a tour, man. So, um, check us Looking out, get on our website it. and check everything out. Um, all the dates, tickets, lead you where you need to go. Just uh, follow us on Spotify and all that good stuff. Follow them on Spotify. New Dilemma coming out on a tour with Cole. That's going to be badass. I wish I could make one of those dates, man. I'm really actually going to try, to be honest with you. <laughs> all right, <laughs> you nice, guys, let us know. It'd be nice to meet you on the road. Fuck dudes. yeah, dude. You know we got I mean? you. You want to come out to a show, just hit us up. We got you. All right, my brothers. Will do, you brother. Guys, Will do. Thank you so much. How Thanks, do you want man. to close this out, dude? Just like this, ladies and gentlemen. Right. Joey, mother, fucking, what's your last name? God damn it. Factor. I'm going to try it again. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, Joey, motherfucking factor. Clyde, motherfucking Clark. New motherfucking dilemma. Shut up, Ralph. Stop laughing at me. They're on tour with Cold. They got a new EP. They got new singles. Hit up your radio station. Request them. Hit them on social medias. Do it all. You got to check out their music, too. You're missing out on some really good stuff, man. No, you guys Come impress on. the shit out of me. I love it. Thank you guys for I hitting us up. Thank you guys, man. We Much will love. have you we back. appreciate you. Much all right, love, ladies guys. and gentlemen. We'll talk to you soon. Until next time, Thanks, guys. take care of yourselves. Peace take out. care of each other. Be good humans. Always fucking forward. Yeah. Oh, I've happened since yesterday. Peace. Yeah.